When a swimmer has multiple events on one day, there's a certain pattern of events that need to occur that will allow them to be at their best for each race. The first thing that they need to do is have a good warm up and that's for every race. And you'll work with your coach to determine what the timing of that might be. We like to have a primary warm up an hour and a half prior to the first event. And then the swimmer would get out, get dried off, rest for a little bit, and then put on their tech suit and get back in 30 minutes before, where they're basically just loosening up, getting a feel for the water, and just getting mentally ready to race about you know, 20, 30 minutes later. After your first event, it is absolutely critical that two things occur. First, you want to get some sort of post-race nutrition. Something that's going to put some calories back in your system so that you don't become glycogen depleted. Secondly, you need to swim down at a moderate effort for a minimum of about 20 minutes. I know that seems like a long time, but that's how long it takes for lactate to clear your system. And if you do this, you'll be much better for your second event. And if you do another event after that, the swim downs in between the meet kind of go as your warm up for the next event. But there are critical things that have to happen. You have to be warmed up before the race, you race hard, post-race nutrition, and a swim down. If you put all of those things together, I guarantee you, you'll do a lot better.